Today's adventure starts at the elf farm. Miss Jolly's riding club. Now, as you can see, Ben, the cabbages are ready to eat. Yes, Dad. Fascinating things, cabbages. Yes, Dad. Today we'll be harvesting them. Then we can have cabbage soup every night. Yes, Dad. We can have cabbage soup Monday, cabbage soup Tuesday, cabbage soup Wednesday, cabbage soup. Hi, Ben. Oh, hi, Holly. We're off to Miss Jolly's snail riding club. Yeah, snails, horrible things. No, they're adorable. There's Dobbin. <laughs> and Robin Hood. He's the cheeky one. <laughs> I want to ride Cupcake. He's lovely. They're all lovely. <laughs> snails are not lovely. They eat up my cabbages. But they're so fun to ride. Would you boys like to come along? Riding club sounds a bit girly to me. It's not girly. The snails can go pretty fast. I suppose we could try it. Yes, cowboys ride, don't they? We could wear our cowboy hats. All right, let's go. <laughs> Just keep those snails away from my cabbages. <laughs> Jolly's Riding Club. But where's Miss Jolly? Go, Trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Hello, everyone! Morning, Miss Jolly! Are you ready for a good day's riding? Yes, Miss Jolly! Spiffing! I see we have some cowboys here today. Yee-haw! <laughs> One thing to remember, snails don't like loud noises. They're quite shy. Yes, Miss Jolly. Don't worry, Trigger. The cowboy is your friend. <laughs> Jolly good. Let's go and meet your snails. Here are Dobbin, Muffin, Cupcake. They're so adorable. Toffee, Bobby, Speedy, Robin Hood and Samson. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? Samson doesn't seem to have a shell. That's because he's a slug. Ooh. A slug. Who would want to ride a slug? <laughs> now, children, you must never walk behind a snail. Why not? It might give you a jolly good kick, that's why. Woohoo! Speedy's got a bit of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get to know your snails. Hold out your hand so they can sniff it. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. The snails will be shy until they get to know you. Give Bobby a pat on the shell. Come on, Bobby. Don't be frightened. Well done. Now she's your friend. Can we ride them now? First, there's jobs to be done, like mucking out the stables. What's mucking out? Cleaning up snail poo. Snail poo? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone take a bucket and spade. Off you go. Snail poo. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent! And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. We'll groom Speedy. <laughs> Easy now! Easy now! We just want to polish your shell. <laughs> Whoa, steady boy. He's a bit frisky, this one. Good boy. Bobby's looking very nice. So is Dobbin. <laughs> Look at Lappin. He's so shiny. Excellent job. Lovely. Well done. Now, before we ride the blighters, they need some nosh. What's nosh? Food. Everybody take some vegetables and hold them out for the snails. Here's a carrot, Robin Hood. Here you go, Bobby. A lovely cabbage leaf. They like fresh vegetables. They're 
so hungry. Oh, yes. They'd eat all day if you let them. <laughs> now, time for the riding. Everybody choose a snail. Oh, can I ride Bobby, please? Yes. <laughs> I'm on a snail. I'll ride Robin Hood. <laughs> I'll ride Muffin. Toffee. Cupcake. I'll ride Speedy. Ah, the thing is, Speedy hasn't been broken in yet. What do you mean? I mean, no one has ever ridden him. He's too frisky. <laughs> yes, he's a young one, full of beans, you know. Can I be the first to ride Speedy today? You can have a go, but you need to get on his back and he'll try and throw you off. Sounds like a job for an elf cowboy. I like your spirit, Cowboy Ben. Speedy, steady boy. I've never seen anything like it. Well done, Cowboy Ben. Yeehaw! So, young Jake, what's it to be? Dobbin or Samson? Um, maybe Dobbin. It's strange, isn't it, Samson? No one ever seems to want to ride you. <laughs> never mind. You stay here and have a rest. Off we go, then. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? How do we tell our snails to move? Tell them to trot on. Trot on! Trot on! <laughs> Let's go snail riding! <laughs> Wonderful day for a snail ride. What? Where are we going? Just around the meadow. Uh, Miss Jolly? Samson the Slug is following us. Oh, I see. Keep going. I'll catch you up in a minute. Now then, you naughty slug. You're not meant to be on the ride. Back to the stables with you. <laughs> Keep up, everyone. Hmm, which way now? Miss Jolly said just round the meadow. Hmm, this way then. <laughs> Whoa! All right, elves, let's get these cabbages loaded. It's a bumper crop. Yes, we managed to keep all the pests off them this year. No green fly. No caterpillars. And most important of all, no snails. Snail alert! Snail alert! <laughs> Cabbages into the elf truck. Boy, get off me vegetables. Save the cabbages! Stop! Stop! What are these snails doing here? Uh, we're just doing a riding class. Come on! It's no good. They're eating faster than we can carry. Snails, stop! Oh, you cheeky little snails. Cheeky? They've eaten half our cabbages. Well, if you will grow such delicious cabbages, what do you expect? But, but... Children, did you all have a nice ride today? Yes! Thank you, Miss Jolly. It's a pleasure. And we should also say a jolly big thank you to Mr Elf for giving the snails such a lovely lunch. It was my pleasure. Mind you, if they're going to eat at your place again, they really like lettuce the best. Grow a bit of that next time. All right. <laughs> People think snails are a pest, but they're adorable, really. Yes, 
They're so lovely and cute and cuddly. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. No magic day. Bedtime, Princess Holly. Into your pyjamas. Yes, Nanny Plum. Clothes into pyjamas. Let's just magic you into bed and magically brush your hair. Ah, oh, magic is so nice. What would we do without magic? Elves don't have magic. Elves are crazy. They don't even like talking about magic. Magic, magic, magic. Tomorrow is the day. What happens tomorrow, wise old elf? Once in a blue moon, the fairy's magic stops working. Stops working? Yes, for a whole day, from sunrise to sunset. It will be no magic day. Why? Nobody knows why. Only that when the moon is blue, the magic does not work. Ooh, fairies without magic. For a whole day. <coughs> Morning time. Pajamas into clothes. Oh, my wand's not working. Daddy! Daddy! My wand isn't working! Neither is mine! Mine isn't either! Wandy, wandy! Oh, the magic stopped! How am I supposed to get dressed without magic? We'll just have to dress the old-fashioned way, using our hands. Our hands? Do calm down, dear. Let's just have some breakfast while we think about what to do. You're right. Nanny Plum, magic up some breakfast. Certainly, Your Majesty. Zibbity zabbity zob. Oh, I forgot. My wand doesn't work. What's going on? Why isn't there any magic? Happy No Magic Day. Eh? What? Don't you know? Every blue moon, it's No Magic Day. Oh, of course. <laughs> yes. And I see you're all still in your pyjamas. Had any breakfast? No. <laughs> you see, children, when fairies don't have magic, they can't do anything. Have you just come to laugh at us, wise old elf? Yes. <laughs> I've a good mind to turn you into a frog. Be my guest. Abracadabra. <laughs> As you can see, children, the fairy wands don't work today. Holly, would you like us to help? Oh, thanks, Ben. We, we can, can all help. help. <laughs> Happy No Magic Day. Bye. Normally, I wave my wand and warm water appears in the bath with lots of lovely bubbles. Have you tried the taps? Taps? Oh, so that's what those things are for. Put your feet in your shoes and your dress without magic. And this is how you brush your hair. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> I'm going to do the washing up without magic. We'll help you, Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you. Elves are good at washing up. And we're elves. <laughs> this is how you turn the television on. And the weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Oh, very good. And this works like this. How clever. Happy No Magic Day, Mr Elf. Um, wise old elf, we're having a bit of a problem at the toy factory. Oh, then I'd better take a look. That's strange. The escalator isn't working. Yes, wise old elf. Nothing is working. The whole factory has stopped. But the elf factory never stops. Oh, it stopped. We cannot make any toys. But I don't understand. Why has everything stopped? I think you should take a look at this. The elf engine has broken down. Ah, the elf engine. Of course. What can we do? Um, well, let's not worry about it. Not worry? 
But there are toys to be made. Oh, never mind. We'll just have a day off. A day off? Yes, in honour of no magic day. We can all have a holiday. There's no time for holidays. We have a big order of toys for an important customer. Well, the customer can wait. Uh, you better tell him yourself. Hello? Ho, ho, ho. It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr Christmas. Ah, wise old elf. How are the toys coming along? I need them today. Uh, yes, your Christmasness. No problem. How on earth are we going to get the toys made? We'll just fix the elf engine. I'm afraid we can't. Why can't we? Elves can fix anything. And, and we're elves! <laughs> There is no way that engine is going to work today. Maybe it's just run out of fuel. Yes, it has. So we'll just get some more fuel. What does it run on? Steam or gas? No, the engine is powered by a very dangerous fuel. Nanny Plum! Magic us up some lunch. But I can't, Your Majesty. It's no magic day. Remember? Hmm. Then what are we going to eat? Um, would you like to come to the Great Elf Tree for lunch? That's very kind of you, Ben. We've got lots of food. Really? Then we shall take you up on your kind offer. It's very quiet. Hello? Anybody home? Ben, why isn't the escalator working? Uh, I don't know. Wise old elf, what on earth is happening? Well, nothing. But aren't there toys to be made? Yes, Ben. We've a big order for Father Christmas. But we can't make them. Why not? The elf engine isn't working. We can fix it. Elves are good at... No, no, no. It can't be fixed. The engine has run out of fuel. Oh, and what kind of fuel does it use? I can't say. I demand to know. It's a secret. Wise old elf, what fuel does the elf engine use? Oh, it's mud. Mud? No, it's mud. Mustard? Ma Marshmallows? Ma ma Melted cheese? M m m magic! <gasps> magic? Are you saying the Great Elf Engine is run on magic? Yes. But you hate magic! Yes. But it has a small carbon footprint and it never stops. Except today. Yes. Because today is no magic day. There must be another way to run the factory. Yes, the emergency power. Of course, the emergency power. But that's just a hamster wheel. It is the emergency power unit. All elves on the hamster wheel will power the factory by foot. Can we help? Good idea, Holly. But, Your Majesty, this is elf work, not fairy work. We're all in it together. You helped us this morning. Now we can help you. All for one and one for all. Yeah, I suppose. Thank you, everyone. Factory is working again! Hooray! Let's hope we get these toys done in time! Yes! The day is nearly over! Ah! The magic is back! And the elf engine is working again! Everyone off the hamster wheel! Ah! I'm glad the elf engine is working again. Don't you mean the secret magic engine? Ha! Ah. So now we know. Elves do do magic sometimes. Well, at least we don't need magic to get dressed. <laughs> Let's hear you laugh when I turn you into a frog. Not today, Nanny Plum. It is no magic day, remember? Uh, wise old elf, no magic day is over. Eh? Oh. Abracadabra! Ah, good. The 
magic is back and the factory is working again. And the wise old elf is a frog. Everything is back to normal. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Gaston to the rescue! <laughs> Gaston's brilliant at digging. <laughs> He's dug up an old stick. <coughs> Gaston, fetch! <laughs> Gaston loves fetching sticks. Oh, it's raining. Run to Umbrella. Wow! <laughs> Let's play indoors. Come on, Gaston. Dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Ah, oh, I love a clean kitchen. Hello, Nanny Clan. No. Oh, don't let that ladybird into my kitchen. He's making muddy footprints everywhere. Get off the floor. Not on the table. Shoo, shoo. This is a food preparation area. Oh, where's he going now? Maybe he's gone to see Daddy. He likes Daddy. Uh, who let this smelly ladybird in the house? Holly! Yes, Daddy? Please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. We live in the castle. Gaston lives outside. <coughs> Never mind, Gaston. Let's all go to the great elf tree instead. <laughs> Mrs Elf, that blueberry pie smells delicious. Yes, Mr Elf. The secret is to cook it very slowly over three days. Hello, Mum. Hello. Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. <laughs> oh, can't he shake himself outside? <laughs> that pie is not for you, Gaston. <laughs> now, Ben, Gaston should live outside. We live inside. OK, Mum. Ah! Where's the pie gone? Gaston's eaten it! We don't know it was Gaston. It could have been someone else. He's the only one with pie on his face! <coughs> Out, Gaston! I never want to see you again. Sorry, Gaston. You'd better go home. Go on, Gaston. Off you go! Holly! Uh, Are you all right, darling? I'm a bit sad. Gaston isn't allowed in our houses anymore. Oh. Gaston! Oh. oh, Gaston is all wet and cold. Oh. Gaston, go and make that racket somewhere else. Poor Gaston. Gaston! 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 Hello, Ben. I can't find Gaston anywhere. Maybe he's in his cave. Gaston? It's empty. Where is Gaston? He must have gone off somewhere to be sad. Don't worry. I'll find him. Elves are good at finding ladybirds and I'm an elf. <laughs> Gaston! 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 Oh, where are we? I don't know. I've never been here before. Oh, it's a door. Speak, friend, and enter. <gasps> a talking door. Hello. Hello. I wonder what's behind it. That's for me to know and you to find out. Ooh, let's get the grown-ups. A talking door? Yes, Daddy. It said, speak, friend, and enter. Oh, that will be the old dwarf mine. Dwarf mine? Yes. The dwarves used to dig down into the earth looking for diamonds and gold and stuff like that. 
Take a look at this dwarf mine. What are dwarves like? They're big, bigger than us. Yes, dwarves are huge. Here's the door. Ooh. It's locked. Speak, friend, and enter. What does that mean? It's a riddle. No entry until you solve the riddle. That's silly. I'll just magic it open. Oh, my magic doesn't work on the door. Yes, fairy magic and dwarf magic don't mix. Maybe we should just ask nicely. How are you today, Mr Door? Fine, thank you. Can we come in, please? Speak, friend, and enter. Maybe it means say the word friend. Good idea, Ben. <clears throat> Friend. Oh, that was easy. Let's go in. Ben and Holly, you wait outside. Aww. The dwarf mine could be dangerous. Then why are you going in? Uh, well, we're grown-ups. Can we go with you? Uh, why not? If you're with us grown-ups, you'll be safe. As long as the door doesn't shut behind us. Oh. Now what do we do? Wand? Give me light. Maybe we can say friend again to make the door open. Friend. It's a new riddle this time. Oh, all right. What's the new riddle? If a car with a two-litre engine travels up a 15-degree hill at 10 miles an hour, how much fuel will it use if the hill is 100 metres high? Ah. What if we go this way? Lots and lots of tunnels leading for miles. We'd get lost going that way. If only Gaston was here, he could smell his way out. Good idea. Where is Gaston? Yes, where is good old Gaston? You said you never wanted to see him again. And so did you, Dad. Oh, no. yes. yes. And now Gaston's off somewhere being sad. Oh. Gaston, my best friend. Help, Gaston. We're stuck. Gaston, run and get Nanny Plum. <laughs> there. All nice and clean again. No, Gaston. Out. Out. What's that? Ben and Holly and King and Queen Thistle and Mr and Mrs Elf? All stuck in the old mine, you say? <gasps> then there's no time to lose. Lead the way, Gaston. <laughs> Hello? Nanny Plum, thank goodness you're here. We're trapped. Hang on. I'll just magic the door open. Oh, it doesn't work. No, because the door is sealed with dwarf magic. You have to answer a question. What question? An aeroplane is flying at 180 miles per hour. How strong will the wind have to be to slow its speed by 15%? That's just gobbledygook. Nanny, magic up a spade and dig us out. <laughs> oh. 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 This will take ages. I know. Gaston can dig us out. Yes, Gaston's brilliant at digging. Gaston, old friend, dig us out. Uh, he wants you to say please. Oh, please, Gaston. <laughs> Hooray! Gaston to the rescue! Thank you, Gaston. Oh, Gaston, you're wonderful. <laughs> oh, good 
boy, Gaston. So, can Gaston come to the little castle now? Yes. And to our house too? Yes. yes. I'll even make him a pie. <laughs> Gaston, thanks for rescuing us. Our hero. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Lucy Sleepover. Isn't it lovely having a picnic in the Little Kingdom? What's the Little Kingdom? You know, Daddy, where our friends, the fairies and elves, live. Now, Lucy, we've talked about this. Fairies and elves don't exist. But they do, Daddy. Yes, darling. You've met them yourself. Oh, <laughs> it's a charming idea and I've joined in the game before. But let's not be silly. That's like saying talking animals exist. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Ah, the talking animal. It's me, Ben Elf. Oh, hello, Ben. Why are you a rabbit? Holly magicked me into one by accident. <laughs> <laughs> ah! uh, was that a talking animal? Help, help. Rex, come back. <laughs> Rex, no, naughty dog. <laughs> Holly, have you seen a talking rabbit anywhere? Yes, he was here just now. <laughs> here I am. Naughty Ben. When we magic you into things, you shouldn't run away. Can you change me back? Of course. <laughs> Phew, that's better. Now let's play a sensible game. Let's play catch. To you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Violet. <laughs> I wish I could play in your games, but I'm too big. No problem. I can just shrink you down. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, I'm tiny. <laughs> You're one of the little people now, Lucy. Will I be like this forever? No, only till the morning. You'll be big again tomorrow. <laughs> can you make Rex little too? <laughs> now you can do all the things we do. Ooh, can I go for a ride on Gaston? <laughs> OK. Hold on to his feelers. Push forward to start. Whoa! And then pull back to fly. Whee! <laughs> Don't pull too far back. You'll lose the loop. Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun. Can I visit your houses? Of course. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. Ooh, I'd love to see the fairy village. OK, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the fairy village. Wow, do you all live inside toadstools? Yes, we used to live inside mushrooms, but the big people kept picking them. No one eats toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no door to get in. Yes, there is. It's a magic door. You have to tap three times and spin around and say, Open Sesame. <laughs> See? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Daddy. My dad's the fairy mayor. Yes, and you're here just in time for the meeting. What meeting? Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow. <laughs> Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. So we must be very careful. And if anyone sees any big people, sound the alarm! <laughs> I've seen a big person. What? Where? Who? Me. I'm a big person. Ah! A big person! Sound the alarm! Ah! Big person! Oh! Don't they like me? Don't 
worry, Lucy. It's not your fault you're a big person. You're a little person now anyway. Lucy is our friend. Yes, look at her feet. They're far too small to step on anyone. Yes, she does seem a bit small for a big person. Holly shrunk me down. Oh, I see. But Lucy is our friend, whether she is big or small. In that case, we are forgetting our manners. Lucy, would you like to join us for lunch as our special guest? Lunch? Sorry, I've just remembered. I'm having a picnic with Mum and Dad. We'll take you back. Come on. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. It's true, darling. There really are elves and fairies. And talking rabbits? Well, that's a new one on me, but obviously there are. No, I can't believe it. We must have imagined it all. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Ah! Lucy? Yes. Holly shrunk me down to be a little person today. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, darling? Mm. Don't worry, she won't be little forever. Just until the morning. I know, you could stay for a sleepover tonight. Oh, wow, could I? Of course, there's lots of room in the little castle. That would be brilliant. Can I? Uh, I think that would be fine. Have a nice time. Great. Bye, Mum and Dad. See you in the morning. <laughs> hmm. Talking rabbits? Elves? Fairies? Shrunken daughter? Come on, darling. Let's get you home. Yeah. Nanny, say hello to Lucy. Lucy? Who's Lucy? You know Lucy. Do I? She's normally a bit bigger. Oh, Lucy the big person. Hello. Normally a lot bigger, I'd say. I shrank her down. Lucy has come to join us for a sleepover. Well, what will happen when she grows big in the morning? The castle will explode. Don't worry. We'll make sure Lucy is out of the castle before the morning. All right, then. And Gaston and Rex can sleep in the kitchen. What? Oh, all right then. As long as they don't leave any muddy footprints. Whoa! This is my bedroom. <laughs> we can have a midnight feast. Yes, you have to have a midnight feast at a sleepover. It's the law. <laughs> Gosh, I'm tired. Me too. And me. <sighs> is it midnight yet? No. <sighs> midnight is still hours away. But I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> We've got to stay up until midnight or it's not a real midnight feast. <sighs> Dum dee dum dee 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 doo dee dee dee. Oh my goodness, Rex! What are you doing here? It's morning. You could grow big again any second. Oh. Out, out, quickly! You're starting to grow. Ah, out you go! Just in time. That could have been disastrous. <sighs> What's all the noise about? You woke us up. Holly, where's Lucy? Shh. She's still asleep. What? Well, wake her up and get her out of the castle. Quickly, before she gets big. Oh, yes, we forgot. Lucy, Lucy, wake up. What's happening? You're growing. Whoa, let's get out of here. Too late. Gosh, what a funny way to wake up. Lucy, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Morning, all. Is Lucy around? Uh, yes. I just wanted to say sorry. Big people aren't all about smashing our houses and stepping on us. Ow! Oops, sorry, Mr Mayor. I didn't mean to step on you. That's quite all right. 
I couldn't have been stepped on by a nicer person. Um, how am I going to get out of the castle? Oh, a bit of magic will fix that. Phew. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Lucy, home time. That's my mum. I've got to go now. Thanks for the great time. Yes, it was fun. Next time we'll come to your place. Ooh, that would be great. Bye. 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 There you are. Hi, Lucy. Did you have a nice time? It was the best sleepover ever, wasn't it, Rex? <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. I'm the best. I'm the best. Pirate's no. treasure. You, no, no. I'm the best pirate. You're not. I'm the best pirate. I am so. Listen. I'm the best pirate. Ask any pirate who's the best pirate. It's me. Hi, Redbeard. Hello, Ben and Holly. And hello, me rambling rose. Meet an old shipmate of mine, Captain Squid. At your service. We were just talking about who's the best pirate. What makes the best pirate? It's the pirate who's cleverest at hiding their treasure. My treasure's hidden the cleverest. This is me treasure map, but only I can read and understand it. <laughs> A child could read it. Is it buried next to the elf tree? Uh, yes. My treasure map is better than that. Ooh, that does look difficult. The treasure's deep underwater, yet in plain sight, guarded by a mermaid and a golden sea monster with scales shining bright. Ooh! Well, best be off. I've got some pirate stuff to get on with. Ha-ha! <laughs> Good to see you, Captain Squid. And you too, Captain Redbeard. Oh, look! Captain Squid forgot his map. Run after him and give it back. No, it's too late. He's gone. We can still catch him. Captain Squid, wait. Give the map to me. I'll fly after him. Let's not be too hasty. Tell you what, I'll keep his map safe until he gets back. Are you going to hunt for Captain Squid's treasure? Oh, no. That would be against pirate's honour. What's pirate's honour? A pirate must never go looking for another pirate's treasure. Anyway, the map's too complicated for Redbeard. What? I could follow this map in my sleep. I'll prove it. But what about pirate's honour? Yes, the thing is, pirates don't really have much honour. They're pirates after all. And anyway, I only uh, want to check that Captain Squid's treasure is hidden safely and that. Can we come too? Well, I can always use more crew. Yay! Cast off and away we go. Men, Holly, into the crow's nest and keep a sharp lookout. We're going on a treasure hunt. Yo-ho-ho! Ho. Aha! Are we having fun? Aye, aye, Captain! Good! Having fun is what being an elf pirate is all about. And we're elf pirates! <laughs> The map says we pass a tree with a huge wheel. That's silly. Trees don't have wheels. Redbeard, is that it? Yes, Holly, it must be. That's the old tyre that the big children swing on. Ooh, big children? That sounds a bit dangerous. I'm not afraid of danger. Pirates laugh in the face of danger. Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha, ha. Land ahoy! That's the end of the water. The next bit's on land. You mean we have to get out and walk? Fear not, me pretty nightingale. Your ship has wheels. It can go on the land. Well, most treasure you'll find is on the land. There's not that much in the sea but water. Look, we're in the big children's playground. Now we look out for the giant's palace. There it be! But that's Lucy's school. Who's Lucy? Lucy's our friend. She's a big girl. Are you sure the treasure would be at a children's school? This here map says the treasure's inside. How can we get in? The door's shut and the handle's miles up. 
And you elves won't want to use magic. That's right. Us elves don't normally like magic. But when there's treasure involved... Rightio! Abracadabra! Ooh. I thought you were just going to make the door open. But a flying boat is much better. It's quiet. No sign of any big people. But all the big children will be here soon. Let's get a move on. The treasure is found by the sign of the acorn. Acorn class. That's Lucy's class. This is ridiculous. How can pirate treasure be in a children's classroom? What does the map say now? Map? I don't need no map. When treasure's this close, I can smell it. We pirates have a nose for treasure. Come on! Now, we're all going to walk the plank. Starting with me. Whee! Silly. How can the treasure be here? It's supposed to be deep underwater, for one thing. There be the water! But that's a fish tank! Remember what Captain Squid said? The treasure is guarded by a mermaid. That's a little statue! And a golden sea monster! That's just a goldfish! And there be Captain Squid's treasure, hidden in plain sight. It's a plastic toy. All fish tanks have that sort of thing. Huh. It's not real treasure. There's only one way to find out. We'll have to dive for it. Who's going diving? Good luck, me plucky little pumpkin. Oof. <laughs> What am I doing? Deep sea diving in a goldfish bowl. Look for the treasure chest. Oh, it's just a plastic toy. I don't even think it opens. Ooh. It's real treasure. Ha <laughs> ha! Captain Squid said I'd never find his treasure. I'd like to see his face now. Redbeard, fancy meeting you here. Oh, hello, Captain Squid. When I set sail, I found my treasure map was missing. Was it really? So I came back. I was worried some rascal might try and steal my treasure. Yes, yes, that would be very bad if someone tried to steal your treasure. I've got the treasure, Mr Redbeard. Why, you double-crossing old sea dog. Uh, I can explain. Treachery with a smile on its face. It's all right, Captain Squid. I found your map on the ground. Redbeard was worried about your treasure, so we came to make sure it was safe. Yes, uh, that's right. Just check it over, like. Oh, well, that's, that's different. But you must admit it was a good hiding place, wasn't it? Aye, very good. A children's fish tank. Best hiding place ever. Oh, but now you all know where it is. I better hide it again. If you could all close your eyes. Thank you. OK, you can look now. Where have you hidden the treasure? Somewhere in the world. Well, it can't be that far away. You were only gone for a second. No one will ever, ever find it. It's guarded by a ferocious beast. Ooh. School starting. <laughs> All right, Acorn class, yes. settle down. Lucy, could you please feed Fluffy the hamster? Yes, Miss Cookie. <coughs> oh, look what I found. It's the toy pirate chest from the fish tank. How on earth did it get in Fluffy's cage? Maybe a pirate put it there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put it back, shall we? Guarded by a ferocious beast indeed. Fluffy the hamster! There. Back where it belongs. Never mind, Captain Squid. I think that's the best hiding place for it anyway. But you all know where it is now. We won't tell anyone. You swear? Yes, on pirate's honour. But, Redbeard, you said pirates don't really have any honour and... Yes, yes. Thank you, Holly. We'll talk about this more later. But for now, put your hands on your hearts and say pirate's honour. Pirates Honor! All aboard! Let's be off before we're spotted. 
A flying ship. Yes, all the best pirates have one these days. Now, let's start the class. <laughs> Miss Cookie, look! A flying pirate ship! It's, it's behind, behind you! Ha ha, yes, children. Now settle down, please. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. What are you doing here? Tell you later. Set sail for home! Little kingdom, here we come. Ha! I think we got away with that. Aye, it were a great adventure. And that's what being elf pirates is all about. Having adventures. Today's adventure starts at Lucy's house. Lucy's elf and fairy party. <laughs> It's fun playing cards with you, Ben and Holly. Yes, we love coming to your house. It's my birthday soon and you can come to my party. That sounds brilliant. You could have a fairy party. Or an elf party. Yes, an elf and fairy party. And all my friends can come dressed up. I could do some party magic. Ooh, yes, please. Lucy, lunchtime. Better hide. Dad can be a bit funny about you two. Mum, Dad, I've decided to have an elf and fairy party for my birthday. That's nice, Lucy. And I've invited Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Now, Lucy, we've been through this. Elves and fairies aren't really real. Hello, Lucy's dad. <laughs> Hello there. We are. Real. Uh, but but we can't have real elves and fairies at Lucy's birthday party. Why not, Dad? There'll be lots of other children, and they're not used to seeing real elves and fairies. We understand. Yes. See you later, Lucy. Bye. Bye. Holly was going to do some magic at my party. Well, I can do some magic tricks. Watch. Here's a coin. Now it's gone. Oh, what's this behind your ear? Oh, will you do a magic show at my party? Of course I will. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Hi, everyone. Lucy's having an elf and fairy party. Great. I've always wanted to go to a big kid's party. Me too. What shall we wear? What we always wear. After all, we are elves and fairies. <laughs> the thing. Real elves and fairies aren't invited. It's just a lot of big children dressed up as elves and fairies. Oh. Oh. Lucy, what's the matter? Oh, Mum, I really wanted Ben and Holly to come to my party. Well, I think they can. Just keep them out of sight and away from your dad. Great! Thanks, Mum. I'll go and tell them. As long as it's only Ben and Holly. Ben! Holly! Mum says you can come to the party after all. Hooray! Thanks, Thanks Lucy. Lucy. We can do magic. And play party games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it was only supposed to be Ben and Holly. So, you don't want us to come? Of course I do. You can all come. I'm sure it will be fine. Hooray! As long as you promise to stay out of sight and away from my dad. We promise. Let's put your wings on. <laughs> now you look like a real fairy princess. Lucy, all your friends are here. Oh, goody. Happy birthday, Lucy. <laughs> I like your fairy wings. I like your elf ears. I made them myself. <laughs> Here's a balloon each. Hold tight or they'll fly away. <laughs> Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. <laughs> I think the coast is clear. Have fun. I'll be back to pick you up after the party. Hello! My goodness, you've all come. Um, welcome. Here's a balloon. Hold on tight or it'll fly away. Whoa! Quick, grab him! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the lovely party food. Ooh! There's the birthday cake. Gaston's going to eat the cake. No, Gaston. Bad. 
Not Ladybird. <coughs> That's for later. Come on, everyone. Party time. <laughs> Let's get started with a bit of a boogie. Yeah, 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 I yeah, wish we yeah, could yeah, dance with the yeah, big yeah, children. Yeah, we yeah, promise yeah, to keep yeah, out yeah, of yeah, sight. Yeah, I can't yeah, help it. Yeah, I have to yeah, boogie. Yeah, yeah. No, Barnaby. Come back. Boogie, boogie, boogie. They're going to see him. Musical statues. When the music yeah, stops, yeah, everyone yeah, freeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Katie, you moved. I nearly stepped on this toy. Look. Oh, I'll just pop the toy over here with the rest of the toys. What are you doing, Barnaby? Sorry, Lucy's mum. Barnaby, we're supposed to stay here. But I love to boogie. Now, Lucy's dad is going to do some magic tricks. Oh, goody. I love magic. It won't be real magic, just magic tricks. What are magic tricks? You'll see. Hello and welcome to the magic show. Ooh! You see? That's a magic trick. It's a trick wand. That was really good. My dad's been practising. And now, I will make a rabbit come out of my hat. Hey, presto! <laughs> it's Flopsy, my pet rabbit. Dad must have borrowed him. Do it again. Yes, do it again! Uh, I can't. Lucy only has one rabbit. Oh, maybe he needs a bit of help. No, Strawberry! Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit! Oh, another rabbit. Ooh! Rabbity, rabbity, rabbity! And another rabbit. And, um, another. And another. And another. Tweety birds! And Tweety another. birds! Oh, my birds! Where did they come from? Out of your hat! Stop it, Strawberry! But he hasn't done magic jelly yet. It's not a party about magic jelly. Ah, good. There's no more animals in the hat. Magic jelly! Jelly! It's a jelly flood! <laughs> jelly flood! <laughs> Sounds like the children are having fun. Party food! We've got sandwiches, cake and jelly. Oh, I see you already have some jelly. Yes, it just sort of appeared magically. <laughs> Where's Gaston? Oh no! The birthday cake! <laughs> There he is! Naughty Gaston, come here! Well, well. He's stuck in the icing! Don't worry, Gaston, we'll rescue you! Oh, now I'm stuck! Ah, I'm stuck as well! I'm stuck too! <gasps> Time for the cake! Keep still! Pretend to be toys! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lucy! Lucy. <laughs> Now, Lucy, blow out the candles. It might get a bit spitty when she blows the candles out. Don't tell her to blow them all out in one go. Remember to blow them all out in one go. <gasps> <sighs> Don't forget to make a wish. I want a pink unicorn. Strawberry? No. Pink unicorn. Ah! Wow, a pink unicorn! <laughs> My wish came true! That's amazing! Uh, right, everyone, home time! <laughs> Don't forget your party bags! Hello, Yasmin! Did you have a nice time? Yes, Lucy's dad did magic! He's awesome! What are you looking like that for? All right, out you come! All of you. <sighs> I thought I made it clear there were to be no real elves and fairies at the party. But as soon as my back is turned, you invite every elf and fairy in the world. <gasps> Where's Jake? He's missing. He must have fallen into a party bag. <sighs> All right, don't panic. Just wait here. 
Ooh, what's this? Yum! I love cake! Oh, I think Lucy lost one of her toys. Ah, there it is. Thanks, Lucy's dad. Your magic show was great. Yes, everyone said so. Oh, did they? This was my best party ever. I'm glad you had fun, Lucy. And no one really saw your, your little friends. So I suppose everything turned out all right. <laughs> Back to normal, eh? Yes, except for the unicorn. Oh, yes, the, the unicorn. I forgot about that. Don't worry, Dad. We can just keep it in the barn with the cows. <laughs> <laughs>